Welcome back, everybody. You are watching the Now Morning Show right here on TTT, also on Talk City 91.1 FM and on TTT Live Online, streaming live on Facebook. Now, September the 26th is Real Maritime Day. With me to speak about that and empowering women in the maritime community, it's Joanne Edwards, who is the woman in maritime, WIMAC, TNT Liaison and Member at Large. Uh, also with me is Gary Dalla Costa, who is the president of the Shipping Association of Trinidad and Tobago. Good morning. And welcome. Good morning. Thank you. All right, uh, wonderful guests. Tell me, what is the purpose of Maritime Day? You want to take that one? No <laughs> yes. problem. Well, the purpose of Maritime Day is, of course, as, as with all days that celebrate any industry, um, is to recognize the accomplishments, the achievements, and the strides and contribution that um, the industry has made and contributed to the global economy. So that's essentially it, to bring into focus um, developments in technology, development in um, societal initiatives, and, and, and so on. As you know, one of the, the, the critical things in maritime now is the um, sulfur cap, mm -hmm. which will be introduced in January of 2020, 2020. which uh, manages, seeks to regulate emissions from, from vessels. Really? Yes. Well, mm -hmm. um, Gary, as you're the president of the Shipping Association, how are you going to go about, um, you know, well, raising awareness and then finally you know, going about starting the process of bringing down the emissions of, of vessels. Okay, uh, thank you for having me. And uh, firstly, I would like to say that um, the Shipping Association of Trinidad and Tobago, we are very pleased to partner with WIMAC in sponsoring the symposium, which will be on the 27th. And this program, we hope to showcase women in maritime, and we would like to celebrate and showcase what they have done and also to encourage young women to make shipping a career choice. Yeah, you know, um, it's not just a boys club. Uh, That's right. um, there are many women who I'm sure are accomplished in the industry and of course with the symposium that is coming up, uh, we would, you would be able to highlight um, the great things that the women have done thus far and um, what you know, what is in store for women in the future in the maritime community? Well, what I would tell you is that currently we have women in offices and in administrative positions. However, as on the port and on vessels, there's less than 2% of the workforce right now that are involved in maritime. Really? Yeah. Joanne, could you tell me why the figure is that low? Well, the thing is uh, maritime in particular has been traditionally a male-dominated industry. Um, I, I will assume because of the, the nature of the work, which tends to be harrowing, which tends to be very, um, um, I would say, the very demanding. It is. And it, uh, again, it's just been traditionally a male-oriented kind of thing. I mean, sailors, when we think of sailors, when we think of military, when we think of captains of vessels, the face of, of, of those fields is generally male faces. And um, there haven't been, um, if you look perhaps over the last 30 years, there hasn't been, there wasn't, I would say, a significant drive towards encouraging women to the industry, to attract women to the industry. That has changed with the introduction of the IMO's um, gender programs, wherein the International Maritime Organization has introduced women in maritime associations across the world. And the WIMAC is the last of seven that okay. was introduced in 2015 to advocate to provide, for, uh, first of all, a platform for advocacy among women and for women to encourage women to be attracted to the industry, as Gary has indicated. Joanne, across all, all roads, roads. Yeah. onshore, offshore, offshore in particular, and offshore tends to have um, the major challenges because, of course, of the remoteness of, of, of the field. It tends to be less visible mm -hmm. and less hands-on, so th that's where you find um, major challenges with respect to, to um, representation, um, making allowances for women, and so in offshore fields and sailing and so on. Some of that will be featured in the in one of the um, panels yeah. on, right. in the program in I the know, symposium. I know that you have been involved in shipping and in the maritime industry for years. Do you find that women in Trinidad and Tobago are particularly drawn, or over the past in the recent times? Have there been more women being attracted to the industry in Trinidad and Tobago? I would say yes. There's more than to average. To yes. some extent. More than average. We, we yeah. are more than average. 
I mean, we are not in the region, we are not a leading maritime um, country, mm -hmm. but we certainly not not way below. I would say we are probably third. Yes. Because, uh, of the course, because of our be economy and, of course, the energy sector has, to a large extent, driven the, the developments in the, in the maritime industry and so on. You so I would say yes. You have to remember where we came from. In the past, it was taboo to have women on board sailing vessels. Really? Yes. Uh, in 1988 was the first time women were allowed into the World Maritime University. Wow. So this this had had been a landmark um, achievement. achievement. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and I would say in 1980, that's that's very recent. That's, that's very, very recent. Yeah, you know, so correct. It, it took correct. that long for society to catch up yeah. to, to to allow this. That's well, Gary, that should have been in place in the first place. Well, the thing is, Gary mentioned the statistic about um, only two percent of the women. Mm -hmm. That is actually a global. That also mirrors a global statistic mm -hmm. where only two percent of the maritime workforce is women. Eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So would you say there were major barriers to women entering the field? Oh, absolutely major barriers. I, I think women would, would get, uh, just as in, 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 in corporate in general, um, the dual role that women t tend to have to play with, with un unpaid work, in particularly, really um, limits to some extent their ability to focus on, on careers in general. There are uh, lots of generalities that can be applied in terms of achieving equality for women across industry and in the maritime industry in particular. So one of the barriers is, is biases in terms of what women can do relative to men. Um, women's focus, as, 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 we've, uh, as has traditionally been, to be the, the, the caregiver in the home and therefore less focus to, to take on the challenges of, of in the workforce and so on. Well, it has now been proven, uh, and we have now uh, integrated it into our maritime uh, industry, is that um, a diversity also improves efficiency and profitability. So, you know, having women in maritime is really an asset. Mm -hmm. Well, before we go to the break, could you tell us more how to get involved? Who is going to be at the conference and how can persons get involved in the conference Register. on the 27th? Yes. Absolutely. Well, I'm very pleased to let you all know that um, the, the, the symposium will, of course, feature both presentations as well as panel discussions by some industry stalwarts, including Dr. Gabriel Hosein mm -hmm. from the university's Gender Institute, mm -hmm. as well as Dr. Opal Palmer Disa from the Mona Campus and Gender Institute, a name that we all know in the country, Diana Mahabia Wyatt, right. leading human rights advocate, will also be participating in the program. We also have men. It would be remiss of me <laughs> not to mention that there will also be men on the panel because without male allies, we cannot achieve gender equality. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Mr. Ashley Taylor, oh, who yeah. is the president of Flip Deco, will right. be a panelist. and right. I, um, He's a male ally. Yeah. So he'll be um, espousing on his experience as a male ally right. to encourage more men to become male allies in mm -hmm. achieving gender equality. Of course, my good president will mm -hmm. also be on the panel, as well as another private sector individual, Yui Jardine, who um, is the managing director of a shipping company. How can people get involved? 623 mm -hmm. Wonderful. Right. Well, with mm -hmm. that, I want to thank you so much, John Edwards, Women in Maritime. TNT Liaison and Member at Large. I want to thank you as well, Gary Dalla Costa, President of Shipping Association of Trinidad and Tobago, for joining us and sharing this wonderful information. Thank, thank you, you so for much having for having us. us. <laughs> we take a short break and we come right back with the rest of the normal morning show. Stay with us.